You're watching ESC News. Thank you for joining us. Deputy Commander-in-Chief of the Royal Cambodian Armed Forces and Commander-in-Chief of the Army Lieutenant General Hun Man Knight recalls hearing the hardships and suffering of the history in which millions of Cambodians were persecuted and killed by the Pol Pot regime. ESC News reporter Anthony Ellis has the story. However, this darkness was fought by the Cambodian People's Party to liberate the people from its catastrophe, which made happiness and tranquility, peace and development to this day. He said during the inauguration for the official use of the 5 DBST paved roads with a length of 27.97 kilometres in Che Hai village, Dung Kadar commune, Slang Trang district, Kampon Cham province on Friday morning, May the 20th of 2022. On the occasion of the inauguration, Hun Manet said that today is the National Day of Remembrance, which is a reminder of the past of the most bitter and painful suffering in the history of mankind that millions of Cambodian people were subject to brutal persecution and massacre of the Pol Pot regime. He added that the tragedy was the most heartbreaking and unjust death. However, he said it was fortunate the Cambodian people can later walk past the catastrophe and the dark past through the sacrifices of the Cambodian People's Party and continue to live in happily and peacefully, which has always received the support and confidence of the people in the mandates of the last election. He recalled the merits of peace, which has brought prosperity and development to Cambodia to this day, urging all citizens to take part of the safeguarding these achievements, to remain immortal and strive resolutely to prevent a reoccurrence of the war especially striving for the maintenance, peace and stability for future generations. As a whole, across the country, millions of people have been using and benefiting from the many achievements, including roads, schools, pagodas, health centres and hospitals, which are the result of the work of the Royal Government, he said. The Cambodian People Party have changed the difficult situation from the past to current comfort. Therefore, we all need to take part in preserving these achievements to be stable immortal and resolutely determined to prevent the reoccurrence of war, especially the efforts to maintain peace and stability for the next generations. The Khmer Rouge regime of the diplomatic Kampuchea state designated the 20th of May 1973 as the date of its corporation and continued the war until it came until power in Phnom Penh in 1975. After the ruling, the Khmer Rouge used the policy of killing and forcing the people to work hard to completely change the standard of living of the people. Remembrance Day, 20th of May, is called the Day of Anger. This is designated by the National Assembly of the People's Republic of Cambodia in 1983 as a day of rage against the Khmer Rouge regime, which prosecuted and massacred millions of people in Cambodia. Anthony Ellis, EAC News.